What's up guys, Shane here from 3D Printing and today we're checking out PLA from AIO Robotics. So welcome back to another film review guys. Today we're looking at AIO Robotics. I reached out to them because I'd heard that their orange was super duper close to the Nerf orange and they said it was and again that's all I've seen on the forums as well. And I wanted to try printing out some Nerf mods for my Nerf guns, obviously. And I have a second role here because AI Robotics runs a daily competition. They give away a free roll of filament every single day. I think you'd only win it once, but I, when I was talking to the rep, he pretty much says everyone wins. So I will put a link down to, the, to that giveaway, daily giveaway, guys. I'll put that link down in the video description. Make sure you go click that and get yourself a free roll of filament. Now they are 500 grams. But hey, no one can you know scoff at free filament and it's actually good quality stuff. Now, I will also say that they sponsored my 4,000 subscriber giveaway and gave away a $100 set of filament. It was 12 rolls, so it ended up being six kilograms of filament that they gave away as one of my big prizes. So I thank you guys for that and I thank you for these rolls. But now let's take a look at them. So as I said, these are 500 gram rolls. So of course they're gonna be small in diameter and in width but they come in a pretty plain box. Every box actually tells you and has a color on here of what color the filament actually is. And the orange obviously has a little orange on there. But yeah, so it's a pretty simple box. It's just the sticker that it stands out on it. All right, and here's a little roll. And right off the bat, they have an advertisement right here for their 3D printing pen, which I have not seen to date. But the a bag is clear on one side, silver on the other, and it is not a zip, is it? Oh, it is a Ziploc bag, yep. So that is nice. I always love seeing these because for a lot of people that don't have storage containers or vacuum seal bags, they end up just using a regular old, you know, kitchen Ziploc bag. But if companies would just spend the extra few pennies and have the zipper included on the bag, it's a win-win for everybody. You know, the company gets props and the spool can go back in here and stay dry. And yeah, so this is the great big pack that they gave away for my 4,000 subscriber giveaway. Again, it was 12 spools of filament, so six kilograms. And with this, they end up having a QR code for 20% off, which is not bad at all. And then they have a QR code again for their 3D printing pen, all sold on Amazon with Amazon Prime. So if you guys need filament in like two days, get this and it's at your door in two days. So it's really nice. Now the wind on this looks good. It's a pretty simple little spool. Again, it's so small. I mean, it's barely bigger than my, it's as big as my hand. I can palm it almost. And they have the same sticker on here with all the same info, I should say, that they did have on the spool. It's a lot lighter blue than I was expecting on the color. Granted, it's not gonna be exact, but regardless, it's a very light colored blue. And its diameter is 1.75, it's RHOS approved, 195 to 230, and the color is bright blue, which is not bad. I do not see though what their, yeah, so they don't say what their tolerance is on any of this. I'm sure it's on their website and I could look it up there, but it doesn't say on either sticker or the spool itself. Uh, the spool is a two piece glued together. Again, real small, nice cutouts in it, which save on weight. And you can actually see how much filament you have left on the spool. So the 500 gram spool, we're not printing a whole ton with it, but I will get some pretty interesting little models out. I'll try and print this on a few different printers and we'll see how things turn out. So be right back after some time lapses. <laughs> All right, so AO Robotics, as I said, this stuff comes in very small spools. I use just over half of this half kilogram roll. I don't, I wish they did full kilogram rolls, I'll say that now, but for being a smaller half kilogram roll, it is very nice. It fits over all different spool holders that I have on all my different machines. And this stuff prints really, really well. I think it under extrudes just a smidge. And I had that on pretty much one model, but that was because I was printing at a 0.1 millimeter layer height, which I don't normally print at 0.1 or 0.15. I normally print at 0.2, but I wanted to, in this model in particular, just to make sure I got all the really nitty gritty details, but I definitely under extruded on that model. And I also probably didn't have enough top layers, even though I set it to five, it still wasn't enough. But other than that, all these other prints came out beautifully. I have different ones. I have some 
parts here that are for the Forge Attack 2020i3, some functional parts that I wanted to try out and play with, a uh, vase, very detailed model, a few detailed models, functional model, and obviously my coin, and again, a little functional model here, this phone holder, which actually my wife has. I have one here back on the desk that I use. Uh, these are great gifts. I give these out to people all the time. They're just pretty awesome little things. But yeah, so anyways, this uh, filament printed very well. I did not have a single clog. I didn't have a single under extrusion anywhere on here, any of the prints, except for again, some of the info on this, which we'll take a closer look at. Or I should say the top layers on this one, which you'll see. Other than that, it was very consistent, uh, very easy to print with. I really threw it on the printer, did my standard PLA settings. They didn't mess with their traction at all. And we're off to the races on several machines. Again, printed these on several different machines, the CR10, the Ender, the GTEC i3 aluminum, several machines, zero issues. That's the kind of filament you really wanna be purchasing. So it came out really well. Yeah, it came out really good. So let's take a closer look at these. So obviously first up is my Maker Coin, which you can see here looks beautiful. And here on the bottom, over support, did amazingly well. And there's a little bit here, I think it was just a cooling on this, but that's kind of a standard PLA thing. But it's not as bad as I have in the other ones. There's a little bit of buckling there. But bottom layer was good, the walls are good, the sides here, very consistent. The top layer, totally buttery buttery smooth. I really awesome with the 0.2 mirror layer height on this one. It just came out exactly how it should. Uh, you see there's a few little strings right back in there, which I don't know what that was caused from, but uh, just a few little ones that pop in there. But yeah, so this came out well. A base and vase mode is very simple. Four bottom layers, one perimeter. It just goes around and around and around each layer, moving all its way up to the top with zero layers and zero percent infill. Very easy to set up. And as you can see here, great results. A nice little shine to it. This baby blue color is a little different, but I like it, I really do. Again, bottom layers, perfectly solid. This holds water without a problem. So on to the next. All right, my one little problem child, okay, which was this lighthouse model. And I have a, a buildings collection now on Thingiverse that I think are awesome little projects, little prints that I wanna print models. But if we take a look here closer, you can see, that's it better that way, you can see how those top layers are not fully filled in on the steps. And it's that way all the way to the top, but the top layer is good. And the tower inside the tower, the walls of the tower, it all looks great. There's no support on this. You know, bottom layer, really nice bottom layer on here. This is really thin right there. You can see, put my hand there. I mean, it's almost cut through at this point here because it's, I think it's one or two layers right there. But either way, awesome model. Really wanted to print this. Blue is not the greatest color for this, but it still can show you all the details, all these different rocks that the printer has to do. And this was on the Ender 2. And this took, I believe it was 17 hours at 0.1 millimeter layer height, 50 millimeters a second. Quite a while to do that and with a, uh, and a 10% infill in rectilinear, you can see the stripes in there. I wanted to make sure everything filled in evenly so I didn't want to worry about doing honeycomb. Yeah, so this was, again, good model. Obviously needs up to extrusion just a smidge on these top layers, but other than that, it's really nice. MakerBot Dragon, you know, super simple model. Well, simple in, a, in the respect of it, but you can see here the layer lines on that. And the layer lines on this are one time that it looks really good on the tail here. This just bending down, looks like it's the skin is turning. You know, really, really nice. Came out really nice, there's the MakerBot logo stamped in the bottom of this. But yeah, no issues on this again. Super awesome model, I love it. A whistle? I've been wanting to print this forever. Um, this is like the special one that you, you can, it's really loud. I don't wanna blow it fully because my kids are sleeping. But um, yeah, it functions exactly how it should, it's hefty because the thing is like a 50%, they wanted a high infill rate. So I'm gonna just throw this on a keychain, probably throw it on my keychain just to have a whistle around, why not? Uh, because if something happens to you, it's easier to hear a whistle than it is to hear your voice. The phone stand came out like it should. It prints like that. So you can see the angles on it, this side is flat, and this one kind of goes up and down. It's filled in pretty well in here. 
there's a little bit of a gap missing in there. It could have been a slicer setting, but I'm not sure what that was. And for some reason, it came out a bit ridgy, like not extruded well at all. I don't know why that happened, but it just was not the cleanest extrusion. I'm pretty sure it was the printer. Since everything else came good, came off you know really good condition, this just didn't. So I'm blaming the printer on this one specifically. But it still holds your phone like it should. So again, aerobotics filament, it works great. I have yet to see a bad review online for this. Everyone says it's good filament. I would consider this more of a premium filament due to the cost per kilogram, but just know that what you're buying is great filament. And some people say this is good or bad, so it depends on your frame of mind and how you think of it. But some people say it's better to buy the smaller spools, that way you don't have a large one kilogram spool sitting around forever if you only need this color in particular for one certain project. Again, it's whatever you think, how you want to buy your filament, but it's great. Uh, you get a pretty significant discount if you buy their 12 pack, which I think is $100 on Amazon, so you save 20 or $40 by buying that 12 pack of filament and it is their complete array of filament colors, which again, great filament. I did not print the orange, sadly. I just ran out of time when I was trying to get this video done. So I'll print the orange at a later date and do just a Nerf video, but that is supposed to be the closest color to Nerf orange out there and it's by AO Robotics. Another reminder for all of you guys, if you want to win some free AO Robotics filament, there'll be a link down below directly to their website where they host a contest every single day. All you simply do is enter in your personal information and it runs it through the machine. It says, yeah, you won or no, you didn't. Usually it's just enter and you'll hit an email back at some point saying that you won and they give away a free roll of filament every single day 365 days a year. So in all honesty, no one can bark about not getting free filament because you can. So I ended up getting this blue roll for the review and the orange I got for free because when they say you won, you get to pick your color. Great, I was like, hey, I'll take a roll. And he said, hey, I have blue. Okay, great, send me the blue to review. I was looking to buy the orange. It was in my cart actually at the time. Then I got the email saying that I won. I went to the reply form that they have, selected the color that I wanted, and lo and behold, a week later, I had the filament in hand. So I thank Aerobotics for number one, sending me the filament, number two, for running such an awesome contest that anyone can win. Again, look down in the video description for that link. It's not affiliated, anything like that. Like there's nothing, it's just the link in order to give you guys free filament. So check that out. So if you guys found this video useful, whether or not you should buy some Aerobotics PLA filament, if it was useful, please give it a thumbs up. If it didn't, thumbs down. Talk in the comments down below what I can do better. Uh, if you're for or against the video, whatever you wanna do, give me some comments. I'd love to talk to you guys. If you wanna help me out financially, down below me is gonna be a Patreon link. Do me a dollar more, I greatly appreciate it. My current Patreons, you guys are awesome. So if you guys wanna to donate to me without committing to the Patreon monthly system, down below will be a buy me a coffee link and there's gonna be a Streamlabs link. So if you guys wanna send me anything that way, I greatly appreciate it. All those, all those funds go to help out the channel and the buy me a coffee ones actually will go specifically to a certain item. Right now I'm looking to get some LED lights to help out with some video lighting here. And if you guys want to support me without donating directly to me, anything like that, down below is a bunch of affiliate links. Do your daily shopping with those. I appreciate it because anything you buy, a little slice of that comes back to me and how again, helps me buy things for the channel. So thank you guys for watching as always. And until next time, Happy printing.